Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Ab Daily News with the Hockey Coach Guru Code Frenchy. Today, episode number 373. What do you mean, Coach? First of all, again, we're going to talk about the trade between the Montreal Canadiens and the Detroit Red Wings. And finally, the winner is Ken Hughes. Really? But before we start again, we invite you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Show, and leave us a comment about this episode. And let's dive in talking about my first subject of the day. First subject of the day is about the Ab News. And we got the trade between the Montreal Canadiens and the Detroit Red Wings. The Montreal Canadiens send the veteran 35 years old Jeff Petrie, retain 50% of the salary cap of Petrie for the next two seasons. And they got a return from the Detroit Red Wings. 24 years old, Gustav Langstrom, and the four-round pick at 2025 from the Red Wings. What do you think about that trade? Can you said he will trade Jeff Petrie? If you follow my channel, the last couple of days, I said Petrie could be in Dallas, Detroit, or Edmonton. At the end of the day, I was right. The only thing I'm a little bit surprised is Montreal Canadian retain 50% for the next two seasons. This is not something Can you does usually. But at the end of the day, I can understand because he has some kind of flexibility next year of his salary cap for the Montreal Canadian. But who is Gustav Langstrom? Langstrom, draft 38 overall pick in 2017 by the Detroit Red Wings. Last year, played only 36 games with one goal, seven assists for a total of eight points. Point. He played over 128 games in NHL with two goals, 23 assists for a total of 25 points. On the ice, we like the fact he is really good on the defensive zone coverage, really great on the transition, and is really good on the cap control. Also, really good on his first pass to the exit from the defensive zone to the offensive zone. For the Montreal, they have Justin Byron, David Saval, Kovacevic, and Chris Whiteman. Can Lindstrom take the spot of one of the them? We don't know yet. Remember, last year, Montreal Canadiens got Kovacevic at 25 years old from the Winnipeg Jet, claimed him on the waiver, and look what happening with Kovacevic. Really great year with the Montreal Canadiens. Can they repeat the same scenario with Lindstrom? We don't know. He's only 24 years old. He is a great skater, by the way. At the end of the day, he could play in American Hockey League with the Laval Rocket. And that's pretty much what we got, guys, for that trade. Uh, obviously, for many fans of the Montreal Canadiens, they was expect uh, maybe in return to get a bit more, a higher value for P3. But right now, in this market, with a salary cap really tied for many teams, this is the best they can get uh, from Jeff P3. Now, remember, guys, Montreal Canadiens trade Jeff P3 twice last year and this year last year to the pittsburgh penguin and this year to the detroit red wings this is what happening with the trade from jeff petrie first they got mike madison casey de smith nathan ligari gustav lindstrom and then three picks uh, second round pick 2025 four round pick 2025 detroit and then they got from pittsburgh the fourth round pick 2023 now montreal saying Mike Hoffman, Ren Lake, Jeff Petrie returned $2.33 million in Ren Poland. I don't think, guys, it's another reason I call Ken Hughes the genius. Why you call him the genius coach? Here's the reason why I feel like Ken Hughes, at the end of the day, guys, does a great job as the general manager for the Montreal Canadiens. First of all, he had a set. Two young players like Ligari and Langstrom. Secondly, he had three picks in return for Jeff Petrie. And then he got Casey De Smith, another asset he could uh, trade at some point in the next couple of weeks. Uh, then he traded Mike Hoffman and Ren Pitlick and no retaining money on both contracts. This guy, a really big move from Ken Hughes. Then open spot for Jesse Allen and RHP for upcoming season. And finally, guys, one thing is the flexibility of the salary cap for the Montreal Canadiens for the upcoming season and then next season. This is the reason why I said for me, Ken Hughes is the genius for the Montreal Canadiens. Leave me a comment, guys. What do you think about the trade between both teams? And let's move on for my next subject of the day. My last subject of the day is about the Ken Hughes, the genius. Why do you call him the genius coach? First of all, guys, he was he was a mission salary cap when he got the job with the Montreal Canadiens in 18 months 
he did it. What are you talking about? He's going to get Carey Price and the book for the upcoming season 2023-2024. It will be really difficult for me to explain the LTIR and the short video like we have here. But one thing I will say to you, it's better to have Carey Price and the book versus on the long-term injury reserve before the season starts. And that's what Ken Yu is going to do. This is an amazing, great job from Ken Yu. But why? Because that gave him flexibility and concept. When he traded Shea Weber last year, guys, he got some kind of flexibility to get Sean Manning with the Montreal Canadiens last year, but he had to put Carey Price on the long-term injury reserve during the offseason, and he was tied up for the year, cannot do anything else for his recap. But this year, he can do something different because he's going to get Carey Price on the long-term injury reserve only after the beginning of the season. But coach, how he can do this? That it's easy, guys. He can trade Casey Smith. That will drop $1.8 million out of the salary cap. Secondly, he can put on the waiver exam player like Barron, RHP, Slavkowski, Aris, Jekai. At the beginning of the season, they send all of them to Laval Wacket, and then that will drop their salary cap under $83.5 million with carry Price on the salary cap. And that would give him, can use some kind of flexibility to make a trade and get some good return asset if ever a team wants to make a trade because of their salary cap problem. That's one reason I call can use the genius. It took him over 18 months to shred the salary cap exactly what he was looking for. Next year, Montreal are going to get around 15 to 20 million dollars open up to sign any UFA if they want to. And then in two years, no contract for Amir, Saval, Devo Rat, Jake Allen. That gave them another flexibility of $20 million. Guys, Ken Hughes is a genius. I would like to hear from you what you think about uh, Ken Hughes as the general manager for the Montreal Canadian. And that's conclude all my subject on this episode. Thanks for watching another Add daily news with the hockey coach, Kuru Cold Frenchy. But before we leave, guys, we want to remind you, don't forget, please, to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Show, and leave us a comment about this episode. And, of course, you have greatness inside of you, and we wish you an amazing, great blessing day, everybody. <music>